Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have a new item from the Art Toolkit from Expeditionary Art and I wanted to share it with you guys. They recently came out with a new size of their palettes and so I ordered one and wanted to open it up and check it out and show you guys a size comparison of it to their standard Art Toolkit palette. So I'm going to open it up real quick. So this palette is called their Folio Palette, and it comes pre-filled with assorted pans, and it comes in a silver finish or a black finish. I got the black finish because that's actually my preference. This is their little thank you card, and a little note on the back that has their Instagram handle, their email address, and the hashtags to use when sharing on social media but this is my new art toolkit folio palette. It is little in comparison to like a standard paint palette, but it is quite large compared to their other paint palettes. I'm gonna slide it out. So this is my new palette. On the back it says art toolkit with their website and it just slides open like that. It has a little card with just some tips and tricks for using your folio palette. And it comes preset with all of your little pans. So it has three different sides of pans. This is actually for mixing, and then these have the mixing finish as well. But the bottom of the toolkits are magnetic, so you can take these out and you can customize it yourself. I do have other videos on my palettes from them, so I'll put links up in the cards above but I do have extra pans in various sizes, so I can actually take this and customize it. So if I want to change up the layout, make the pans bigger, swap out some of the mixing trays, I do have the pieces to do that. But this is the way the palette comes with one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve of these tiny ones, two, four, six of these, three of this larger square size, the larger mixing, the skinnier mixing, and then the large mixing palette there. So this is the new folio palette. And I did want to show you, this is their pocket palette. They do have a smaller one that is about half the size of this, which I also own, but I didn't have it handy to show you guys. So I will try to share that on Instagram soon. But this is their standard pocket palette size. So you can see the size difference between the two to get an idea of how large this folio palette is. And this one is a mess. I haven't cleaned it up since painting last, but I have two of these and one keeps my reds, oranges, yellows, purples, pinks, those colors. And this one has my blues, greens, browns, blacks, those kinds of colors. So I kind of keep my colors separate in those pocket palettes. That is the pocket palette size difference. And then I thought I would just show you, this is a mead and watercolor palette that I have from Amazon. It is larger. And I just thought I would show you a size comparison for that as well. So you could get an idea of the size of the new folio palette. I am really excited for this. I want to test out real quick if this will fit in the back pocket of the Lewis and Clark from Chic Sparrow. I am hoping that it fits back here, but I don't know if it will, if the gusset will allow for it. But we're going to stick it in there and see. It does. Oh, that's awesome. It fits and it zips. I am so excited. I was hoping that it would fit in the back of my Clark because I actually had this set up for an art journal. I actually took out the insert so there's nothing in it right now. But that is its purpose. It is an art journal and we're going to be traveling soon and I wanted to take watercolors with me. So I thought that if this fit, then I could put all the colors that I need in this one palette instead of taking these two separate palettes because of the shape of these these don't quite fit together in this pocket nicely because they're a little bit taller that way. And then if I stack them on top of each other, it's a little too wide for the gusset and it just makes an ugly bump. It's just not right for this. And these actually go in my mini art set, which I keep in a mini extra small Delphonics pouch. So I didn't really want to take them out of my mini art setup to put into here. So now I have a separate watercolor palette that I can keep 
in my Chic Sparrow Clark and I have it with me for art. I do have something else coming to go into my Clark and so once I get that I will do a separate video of my setup on how I have my Clark set up for art but I wanted to make sure that my little folio palette fit inside there and it does perfectly. I'm so excited. So that is my new folio palette from the art toolkit. I love it and I cannot wait to get it set up and to start using it. So that is my unboxing of the art toolkit folio palette and the size comparison between their pocket palette and this new folio palette and also a larger watercolor palette so you guys could get an idea of the size but I wanted to do a quick little video and share that with you guys if you have questions about this palette or the art toolkit palettes in general please don't hesitate to let me know and I will definitely get back with you make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like this quick unboxing of my new folio palette from the art toolkit make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble